Welcome back to Second Cup on WTXL.TV. I'm Angela Green, joined by Sheila Williams and Altamese Barnes. Thanks so much for joining us. Now, we have a lot of good stuff happening in Frenchtown. Now, this is, is this a new project that's happening? Tell us about it. Yes, this is a new project, Fall in Historic Frenchtown. And what we are doing, Frenchtown is one of the oldest communities mm -hmm. in Tallahassee, African-American uh, communities. Mm -hmm. So beginning October 12th, through November 8th, we have what we are pinning as fall in historic Frenchtown. Mm -hmm. The Riley House has um, conducted oral history interviews mm -hmm. back, dating back to 1997 oh, wow. with seniors who were born and raised okay. in Frenchtown. Mm -hmm. They are all deceased now, but we've been able to digitize those. So on mm -hmm. October 12th and 19th mm -hmm. at MLK Boulevard at uh, the market area, we will show four of those seniors sharing the stories and we call them soul voices oh, wow. because though they are no longer with us, mm -hmm. their spirits are still here. So that's going to be, that would be a very okay. important. And so much history coming out of there, especially for the young people to get a chance to hear these voices and how important Frenchtown is to Tallahassee. Exactly. And then on November 2nd, uh, the Carolina Oaks neighborhood is mm -hmm. opening a new community park in the 400 block of Georgia Street mm -hmm. and the crowning event is the unveiling of nine historical markers in Frenchtown, four of them with audio, mm -hmm. where the oral histories will be uh, produced and shown so people can walk the trail, mm -hmm. push the button, and hear oh. from these seniors who are no longer with us. And it will go live on what date? November 8th. November 8th, okay. So why would why did they feel like there was, you guys, there was a need for this in the area, especially now? How? There was a, the yeah, there was a need for it because Frenchtown has been changed so much. Mm -hmm. And so people don't realize that there was a town when a time when Frenchtown had it all. Mm -hmm. So we are going to convey through these markers and these programs what Frenchtown's history mm -hmm. and the roots of that community is all about. And thanks to Sheila Williams mm -hmm. and her department, we were able to make this project happen. Now, Sheila, talk to us about how the city got involved with this. Right, the city actually got involved through an interlocal agreement mm -hmm. between the city of Tallahassee, Leon County, mm -hmm. and the Community Redevelopment Agency. It was based off of $3 million of tourist mm -hmm. development tax dollars, mm -hmm. which you also can call bid tax dollars. Okay. There was a program, um, a competitive bid process program, as it relates to various nonprofits who could try to come up with ideas for mm -hmm. the funding that would be related to arts, culture, and heritage. And this was one of the projects that won a competitive bid to mm -hmm. be funded. So we're so excited, so grateful to be a part of such a catalytic um, uh, set of events and Absolutely. development. Absolutely. How long has it taken to just bring this to fruition? Because yeah. this doesn't seem like an easy task to it, do. It was not an easy task, mm -hmm. um, but everything it w worked out great. It was a culmination of a mm -hmm. couple of years. So I want to say in the pa within the past year is when we actually were able to go through the competitive process mm -hmm. as it relates to setting up the programs and selecting the various nonprofits for the funding. Absolutely. Now, Ms. Barnes, are there any names that you can give us of some of the elderly people who, or the historic people in this area that we'll hear from in these digital? Mm -hmm. Most certainly. There's Ms. Bessie Harden. Mm -hmm. There's Harry Nick Nims, and Nick Nims um, was actually the first African American principal of Fairview Middle School. Oh, okay. And uh, his family had businesses in Frenchtown. And then there's Mr. Alpha Omega Nims, who was born in Frenchtown in mm -hmm. 1930. And he walks us from Tennessee Street all the way up Macomb to Brevard on both mm -hmm. sides and tell us by name, addresses, everything of what was there mm -hmm. during his lifetime. And the fourth one is Mr. Cleo Hall. and Mrs. Dolores Tux, mm -hmm. whose family owned the Tux Motel hmm. on Virginia Street, okay. is also one of the um, subjects of the oral history. Now, are the structures still standing where the historical markers will be? The only structure that's still standing is Tux Motel. Mm -hmm. So there will be a marker there. The others, most of them are gone, but the markers will have photographic images mm -hmm. as well as text and the names of the families mm -hmm. who lived in Frenchtown, 
and um, the businesses, everything would be there in photographic image yeah, and I'm text. Very much so. I call myself a nerd when it comes to historical markers. Um, I've started researching a lot of the historical markers around Tallahassee, so I'm really excited to see this. And I've always heard the stories about how historic Frenchtown is and how important it played a role in the lives of us African Americans. So I am excited to see. Um, what are you hoping people can learn from these historical markers and just the whole project overall? Well, in addition to the history, and then Sheila can chime in, mm -hmm. I think it will be important as we move forward with development mm -hmm. in our community because there are ways to develop without demolishing exactly. all of the history. Mm -hmm. And where the history no longer exists, then you can have model projects like mm -hmm. this one, catalytic projects, that will let people know this did look different at Absolutely. one time. Well, I am interested to learn more about this. I hope we can help you bring this to life as the activity starts to kick off. So here you go, October 12th and 19th, the Farmer's Market, Art Walk, Soul Voices, October 2nd, the grand opening. Of course, they'll be giving out some prizes for people who come up there. Um, I think the first 50 people to do so, they'll receive a fall in historic Frenchtown t-shirt and there'll be new Frenchtown banners all around displaying this wonderful project. All right, thank you you so much for joining us ladies and good luck to you on everything i'm really excited to learn more about it stay with us we'll have more on second cup right after the break thanks